All right, y'all, we are on day four of our trip. And let me tell you, we are about to stay in a castle. I know you heard that right. Drummelin Castle in Shannon, Ireland. And I cannot wait to share this amazing experience with y'all. Do you see it, baby? We're going to go inside of there. This Elsa. Maybe Elsa. So Beckett was very convinced that we were coming to visit Anna and Elsa here in this castle. And the staff was so amazing and sweet to really play okay. into that. And every day he would visit the front desk staff. And it was just so cute to see how excited he was. I mean, this castle... From the staff, to the decor, to the food, the services, everything was just top Hello, tier. Hello vlog, we are in Shannon, Ireland and just getting settled in my room. I'm obsessed with it. We are at the Jomalin Castle and it is gorgeous. Um, so what are we gonna get into here? We're here in Ireland for like a couple of days and I'm really, really excited. My last name is Kennedy. So I have my great grandpa who's immigrated from Ireland to the United States. Um, so it is really exciting for me to be here and just see everything around. It's gorgeous. I love being in nature. I love the green rolling hills as we were coming from the airport to the castle. It's all just so breathtaking and calm and everyone is so amazingly friendly um so i'm really excited we're gonna have an amazing time i don't know if you can kind of hear it in my voice but i have been struggling like i have had a lack of sleep like crazy probably only getting maybe four to five hours of sleep every night on my trip um which really sucks. I just, my body has not adjusted from the jet lag from coming from San Diego. But um, then a little story time, like we went to Paris for a day from London before catching our flight here. And um, I don't know if anyone else gets motion sickness, but I get really, really bad motion sickness. On top of that, our train was delayed an hour. So as I mentioned, like I have been not... I've not been getting good sleep. Um, I don't know if I'm just excited or, um, you know, in a new place, sometimes you don't get the best sleep or just traveling in general, but I have been so thrown off. And um, so I woke up at like 4 a.m. that morning and we went to get coffee um, and I got a little mocha and a banana walnut slice. And that's all I had had. And then our train was delayed an hour, so I didn't get to eat as soon as I thought, you know, we would get into Paris and eat lunch after seeing the Eiffel Tower, hoping to see um, Notre Dame and go to the Louvre and just some sightseeing. But our whole day was thrown off from the train. On top of that, I just got horribly sick. Um, I have not felt like that in a really long time, like feeling that I'm not going to be... <laughs> able to walk like I'm gonna pass out I was dizzy and I don't know if it was a combination of the motion sickness plus not have been eating um, all day I probably should have gotten something while we were at the train station and our train was delayed um but yeah that day just it sucked that our train being thrown off and me not being able to eat just um, it was not a good day and I actually still feel a little sick. So I don't know if I have like gotten a bug or whatever. I did take a COVID test, which came out negative. So unless I'm being tricked and it's a false negative, I don't know. But I did have like the cold chills and hot flashes and super crazy nausea. Like it was really bad. I have not felt like that in a really long time. So being in another country and being that ill is just no fun on top of the fact that you're trying to travel and sightsee and you're with family and friends. Um, because we just went to Paris for the day, I just wish like it sucked because it's not like I had a hotel to go back to. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We're having a good time trying to truck along, even though I'm struggling, but it's been an amazing trip. So we're gonna do a hawk, well, some tour um, around the castle. 
and um, I have to ask Sheree what it, it's called. I think it's just like around the grounds, like where you're gonna do like a tour. Um, and that'll be really cool. And then we're gonna um, get some dinner and do sightseeing at the Cliffs of Mohair and go into the town. So I'm really excited for the next few days. Um, it's gonna be a nice change of pace from um, being in London where it's like big city and busy. Um, London reminds me so much of New York, but, um, you know, just big city vibes. So being in the country is such a, like, beautiful change of pace. And, you know, it's just, I don't know, I just uh, love it. So um, it's definitely a more chill vibe. And um, it's, I think that's perfect timing because with me struggling right now, um, I need this little change of pace. So um, my best friend, she has her son with her. And so we're everything we're doing is super family friendly. Um, he's only two. So it's perfect for you to kind of note down for any trips that you're planning abroad um, if you're not from the U.S. Um, and just definitely things that are able to do with the whole family from little kids to big kids. It's all been really cool. All right, y'all, so I am gonna change and um, let's go do our tour. And I'm gonna try and get as many like video shots so you can see this castle because it is absolutely stunning. It's amazing, definitely like a once in a lifetime experience to stay here it's like over 500 years old but it's beautiful um so stay tuned for those clips and everything that we're going to be doing around shannon ireland one of our harris hawks not an indigenous bird to this area um, but um they come from the americas so you get them in the south uh, south and, and, and central america predominantly um you also get them in some parts of um, southwest uh, United States as well. Um, but a very common falconer's bird nowadays. You find them all over the world in um, flown by falconers because they're a very um, they're a very appropriate bird for a first timer. Um, but also very dependable, very intelligent, great hunters as well, very versatile. So they hunt a wide range of, of game. Anything from rodents to lizards, small birds, squirrels, rabbits, hares. We have birds that have caught mallard on the lake here before and even young fox out here in the woods. So, yep. Wow. You know, maybe if we're lucky enough today, we might get to see Brian doing some hunting as well. Uh, so how do you train them? I mean, you get them when they're small birds, or I mean, you know, you got them on a leash. Or, how, how do you teach them that? Like, uh, well, you get them relatively young, maybe 15, 16 weeks old. And uh, well, you start your manning process then. So manning is the practice of holding a bird. Okay. You spend hours doing that a day for maybe weeks. And uh, get them acclimatized to you. Start to introduce food as well. So he builds an association between you and his food. And uh, very important, then you start to gradually bring down his weight. Day by day. Less and less food every day. Until you can eventually see that he's hungry. Right? Once he's hungry, you can start to fly him from perch to, to fist. Right? You build on that. Um, since that's, that's, that's the bones of it. Once you have him flying free, once you have his confidence built up to, to fly over and back. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the work then. Yeah, since he was 16 weeks or so? Or? Uh, no, about a year old. Yeah, yeah he was trained before he came to us. And he was born in Derbyshire in England. But I've been flying him for the last seven years or so. So, what we're going to do with him today, we're going to take him for a walk in the woods, get him up and about, exercise him. I've got gloves for everybody here, so we'll show you how to handle him, get him flying through you, and then we're going to take a trip to our muse, have a look at the rest of our birds up there. We've got more Harris hogs, we have some falcons and some owls as well. So, thank you for seeing. If you have any questions along the way at all, don't be shy. Yeah, later, later, later. Otherwise, we'll start making our money. Want to help? Maybe Nana Maybe. needs help. Ah. Ah. <laughs>
Drummerland Castle. And we're on, what's it called, Shell? Hawk And it's so cool. I'll show you some of our perch with our gloves. Get to hold and feed the bird. Pickles as well, if you're really gentle, you can give him a little pet on the back. Oh, he's so soft. how soft those feathers are. He's gonna fly. He's soft? He's gonna fly off your hand? Look at mommy's cheese. Cheese! Look at that. Wow. And those Yeah. So this guy's an Eastern European barn owl. And he's, he is dark breasted. That's the type. Dark breasted. So he's, he's a darker color than you'd get in Western Europe. Okay, so that was a really fun hawk walk and we are headed back now to the castle to get ready for dinner and I just cannot get enough of this place. I mean, look how cute it is. I'm just really counting my blessings, even though I have not been feeling 100%. I'm really grateful for this trip and all the fun memories we're making together. And now I definitely feel like if staying in a castle is not on your bucket list, then what are you doing? Like, you need to add it ASAP because it's definitely an experience I never knew I needed. Bathroom is gorgeous place is literally breathtaking oh and i need to show you the view from my window how can you not find gratitude in a place like this i mean ireland you definitely have my heart this is so completely grounding all right, so we're headed to cocktails before dinner. I had the local sessions IPA and it was bomb. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned and see what's up for Ireland Day 2. Thanks for watching.